Afternoon, ladies and gents. Um, Manhal Alos, MD of um, iVolt. iVolt is a voltage optimization company. Um, we specialize in electronic systems that deliver energy saving. But what I'm here talking about today is not specifically voltage optimization as a principle, but just discussing how we can unlock the potential of energy saving or voltage optimization to the market. One of the biggest problems in energy saving is there's a lot of hearsay on how much energy is being saved. Our business is to prove to you what energy we're being saved. So what energy would you have consumed had you not installed the equipment? What energy are you consuming today? And the difference between them is the energy saved. So this gives you an idea on one of the main two aspects of the conversation today. Our equipment is installed with a communication module that allows you to communicate data back to base. Base means the cloud. The cloud means everywhere. You have access to it through a simple username and password. So this gives you, uh, for example, a, a, a site map of a certain client of ours whereby each one of these pinpoints a, um, a store of that client and it will show it to you in this format. It's very nice also to have it in the reception of, of the headquarters whereby they can show their estate etc. You can then zoom into any of the units. It tells you where that is, the serial number of the unit, etc. And you can dig deeper now into a specific unit rather than look at the whole estate. Um, using Google Maps, we can show exactly where the unit is, having, having drilled into that specific unit. Once we go into the unit, we now can look at exactly what the unit is doing on a day-by-day -day basis. You can do it even on an hour-by-hour -hour basis, but we do it on a day-by-day -day basis. So if you look at, um, um, if you look at on the left-hand side, there's the estate, there's the customer's estate. So you've got all the names of their sites. Then you've got at the top, you're looking at the data. So at the moment we've selected last month, and then we look at the unoptimized energy, which is the brown line, the bl brown trace, and then the black trace, which is the optimized. So, so the black is lower because it is, um, it is optimized and therefore consuming less. And the difference between the two is the energy saved or the percentage thereof. So obviously hiding the names of the sites, etc. But you can see on the top left what the energy consumption is, how much energy is saved, the percentage, and everything is giving. Then we also can enter the, the cost of electricity for that customer. So they can enter it themselves and therefore gives them annual savings, etc. So I'm not here talking about voltage optimization and the fact that it will save you money and the fact that this is what you should do and you shouldn't do anything else. What we're saying is, what we're demonstrating here today is that with our technology, we can tell you what is being saved not we can talk about it, yeah? Then you can drill deeper into the unit and now you are actually looking at the individual phases and you can look at each phase, what that phase is doing. So you can look at, for example, your losses um, or your energy saved in phase two is more than phase one. Why is that? Is, is this new load that I've installed, is it working well? Is it not working well? And you can see the traces here. I know it's probably not very clear from a distance, but you can see, for example, um, I'm going to move away a bit. So you have phase one, optimized, unoptimized, phase two, optimized, unoptimized, and phase three. So on each of the three phases, it shows you the individual trace, and you can just change the, uh, the selection by phase. Yeah? So you can, so now what I've done is I've removed phase one and phase two and I'm just looking at phase three. And you're doing this live. You're doing this live remotely from anywhere in the world. This is all through the cloud. You can then point to any point 
such as a day and it tells you how much energy was consumed on that day. You can look at it in a graphical format. You can change the selection period, so whatever your accounting period is. So you want to look at last financial year, last month, this month, this period whereby it was really cold, what was the heating doing this, this period, it was really hot air conditioning, what was the effect of that? Sorry, I missed this one. So this is the custom date entry. What we can also do, which is quite revolutionary, is we can enter parameters for the unit by remote control. So for example, the site was set initially at 225 volts. Customer is happy, two or three weeks time, everything's working okay, let's wind it down to 222. Obviously there are voltage drops, far point, etc. So you can actually adjust the output voltage, you can adjust all of the parameters. This gives you an alarm um, which is reported back to base. So if you have any issue, high temperature, high voltage, low voltage, loss of power, mains failure at that site, overload, uh, is the load more than expected, etc. All of the alarms are given um, and uh, reported back. And what we can also do with the alarm is we can send an SMS to the building services manager. We can send an email so you can decide if it's this alarm, then these people on these email addresses or that mobile number will receive that message. And we can do that fully automatically. So thank you very much. I hope that was uh, short and sweet.